Central Station was the perfect backdrop for Youth Drone Demo Day. Hundreds of kids got the chance to operate drones and learn more about that evolving technology behind them. Oh yeah, that's right. Our Priya Man shows us how this event is creating a buzz for young scientists. For a lot of kids here today, it'll be their first time flying a drone. Everything from the mini all the way to the giant Matrice. That's, that's a drone. At seven years old, Jason Beard doesn't miss a thing. The moon up there. I don't know much about it, but he he does. While I was in the car, out of the corner of my eye, I saw two right drones all the way over there. All eyes were on the sky Saturday morning. Jason is one of a couple hundred youngsters, most from Detroit, who are getting an up close look at drone technology. Oh, I just want them to be curious. I just want them to be curious because who knows where this thing's going to go. And, and so getting them engaged, they inspire us. By the time they reach 15, they can have a FAA Part 107 license and start dry, flying commercially. Now bring it back a little bit. Youth Drone Demo Day had obstacle courses and photo and video stations. Kids could try operating a drone light show, mapping, and even water sampling. I'm going to learn how to fly a drone and learn some new things that can go on my college application. Michigan Central partnered with New Lab and Code 313 for the free hands-on event. The goal is to inspire careers in aerial mobility, tech, and coding. It's super important because it's not in the schools as much, um, and these opportunities are just not as open as normal. And, and I'm inspired because one time I was watching YouTube and, and I saw this uh, eight propeller drone holding a human while it was flying. Oh, Jason is quite the character. You know, as mobility evolves, who knows, drone delivered pizzas could be right around the corner. And for these budding pilots and engineers, the sky is the limit. In Corktown, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Drone delivered pizza, that would be something. Thank you, Priya.